Today we're going to be checking out the Alchemy Refiner and seeing exactly what if impact it has on our images. So the way it works is if I go into my personal feed and I open up any one of these images, start off with this one, usually we have a few upscale options, but we also have the Alchemy Refiner, which also upscales. So the idea is if I click on Alchemy Refiner, I've got the strength, low, medium, and high as to how far it's going to refine that image. And then we have smooth mode, which can sort of help enhance the image coherence and improve hands and faces and things like that. So what I've done, if I come back out of this image, I've got this image here, which if I switch to the original, this is what we've started with. And I have actually run high, low, and medium, smooth and normal on this image. So we can compare and let's jump in and have a quick look. So again, this is our original image. You can see the details are, are decent, but they're not really 100%. And the resolution is 512 by 768. However, when I switch to one of the upscales or the Alchemy refined images, the image resolution is 1224 by 1840. So about a two and a half upscale or 250% upscale whilst adding some detail to those images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay all these images and we're going to compare step by step to see what difference has been made starting with the face. Okay so we have our original image and I've got the layers over here on the right and you can see by the eye which one I've turned on but I'll also announce this as I go. Our original image which is looking a bit fuzzy because it's low resolution we switch to low normal so this is a low refinement on the normal setting and it has actually produced some good facial features and looks much more, much pretty similar to the original in regards to the shape. When we go to low smooth, not a huge difference. As a matter of fact, I can barely even tell the difference with the face at all. They essentially look like the same image. But when I go from low smooth to medium normal, we get a little bit more refinement. The face still looks similar to the original. If I click the original on, in regards to the shape of the face, some of the facial expression. However, it has been kind of cleaned up and moved in a little bit. So you can see how with this low smooth, I'm sorry, with this medium normal, how it has further refined, especially if we go to low normal, you can see how it's taken that and just kind of taken it a little bit more in the right direction, uh, especially in the face, little things like uh, the mark on the face, the nostrils, it's just a bit cleaner. And when we go from medium normal to medium smooth, all of a sudden we get the difference. Things are much smoother. The anti-aliasing is smoother, but also the face is now starting to look a little bit more like kind of like a 3D anime style, but everything is really clean. If you look at the pattern on the armor, it's a little bit kind of whatever in here. Like there's just, it's just like a, a very detailed pattern, but this has almost like a focal point and is a little bit more finer. And this is where the image I think is starting to really take off. Now, if we go from medium smooth to high smooth, this looks pretty good. So this is high smooth and it is still a little bit cartoony, but I think it's a little bit of an improvement on the face shape. The armor and everything looks pretty good. It's got that nice smooth anti-aliasing effect. But when we go back to a, say high normal, the effect I had here was probably not quite as good. I do believe the refinement is still better, but overall it's just a little bit fuzzy in some areas and the smooth has a way of just really cleaning up the image. And so overall smooth, especially this particular image has had a great impact. However, let's go back to the original. Let's look at the mountain up here very quickly. This is the original, low normal, where things are looking a little bit better. Low smooth, much the same. Medium normal, if you compare these two, the mountain is starting to kind of have a little bit more of a, a jagged face. The leaves are looking a bit better. Medium smooth, and we've got a nice glow there now, but a smoother face. We go to high smooth, and back to that more sort of mountain-like jaggedness, nice and smooth, and then high normal. Kind of like a bit of a step backwards, really, in my opinion, but overall still pretty cool. But you can see how, so far with those details, I go up to original, and we've got thumb, it's very basic hand, and you look at some of the detail around here, it's not too bad. We turn original off and go to low, it's kind of just upscaled and added knuckles and a thumb and it stayed much more true to the original image which may be what you're after we go from low normal to low smooth much the same again medium normal same thing again it's taken that a bit step further i like the stitching on the sword looks like actual stitching whereas before it kind of looks like a bit rubbery so the medium is definitely a good it is a good medium support but now we've gone for medium smooth and 
We've got a few extra fingers in here. It's actually kind of gone off the deep end a little bit. Same when we go to high smooth, we've got five fingers and a thumb instead of four. It is a smooth, cool image, but the more we go down that high variance, we tend to get more fingers here for some reason. So it is something that depending on the image and depending on what elements of the image you're looking at, you may get different results. Now these are some of the first images I created with my Leonardo AI account. They're in my original video covering Leonardo AI. This is uh, the creative upscaled image with the original image, a little bit flat, and you can see how this image looks. It actually looks pretty decent. But I'm willing to bet a medium refinement could do a really good job. So I'm gonna click on this, go to medium, I'm gonna put it on smooth mode and click refine. So let's see what results we get with that image. So again, this is my original creative upscale. Switch the refiner, and <laughs> it's it looks a bit different again. I think it's gone back to that original image uh, as opposed to the upscale. But uh, so if we go back to the original first, the original looking a bit blase, medium smooth refiner, and it's smoothed that out. So it has it looks like it's referenced the original image there. I'm willing to bet that, but uh, still a bit of an up uh, a step up. If you look at the background the way it's blurred there, I believe that it has a really nice sort of bokeh effect sort of starting to form there, not quite, but really nice like focal lens blur and a more photorealistic image. Moving on, we got Zombie Mario, a cool looking image, a little bit different. Let's hit refine, but this time let's go high and we'll leave smooth off. Again, this is our original image. We switch to the Alchemy Refiner and a little bit more detail, a little bit more of a disgusting skin look and overall it's done a great job with this image and this is old school this is before alchemy before prompt magic i think it's done a pretty good job of enhancing that but let's go find one of my images from the original alchemy video i did we have this image which i always thought turned out amazing i used it in the thumbnail let's use the alchemy refiner let's go high again smooth mode and refine again we have our original image I switch to high smooth and it's like a different image, but check out this, the skin texture, the pores, everything. It is a different image, but God, it just, it's a step up in quality. However, I still want to keep that original look. So even though this looks fantastic, the detail, I'm going to come back, use the refiner, but this time I'm going to go low, smooth, refine. And just to test it, we'll also try medium. So again, we get our original image. 1152 by 768 is the resolution. I switch to the low smooth variation. This image is 1840 by 1224. So it's actually, it hasn't two and a half, to, it's sort of a little less than doubled the image. Now the big thing is it does look different again. So it's closer to the original. So it's still not quite the image I want, but still that detail in the skin texture and the overall look it looks far sharper i zoom in again and this looks amazing we go to our medium we've got that transformation again looking a little bit different uh, a little bit more variation but still pretty cool and back to high not too bad so again if we start with our original cycle through so you can see how it slowly transforms that image but overall that is pretty impressive and a nice little upgrade on some of your older images, a good way to add some detail and go from there. Let's try one more image. Now this is one made using Photo Real. I'm gonna to go to Alchemy Refiner. Once again, we've got our original image, looks like a photo. If you take a close look, there's a bit of an issue with the lip, the eye looks a bit funny, but overall, that is about the only place where there's any kind of information that looks a bit out of place. So let's go to the low, and now it's a little bit better looks a little bit more sharper, photorealistic. The detail on the jacket, I believe just the way it folds. This is a little bit sort of blurry in comparison. These folds look real, legitimate, ultra sharp. And the face is a little bit improved. We go to medium. The face is starting to look a bit more accurate. And again, everything else is looking pretty good. We go to high and that is looking pretty good again. The medium and the high are about the same in quality, just a little bit different. This is a zoom in on the high we can see how the face looks. The eye still looks a little bit funny. The medium looks a little bit better. So it hasn't sort of gone too far away in the way it's refined that image. But overall, it's a powerful way to sort of improve the look of these images. So definitely check that out. The Alchemy Refiner 
A lot of fun to play with. Can be a great way to go to your old images and give them a little extra oomph to sort of sharpen them up and bring them to the next level, bring them up to date with AI that's being used in Leonardo today. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like. Don't forget to check out the other Leonardo AI videos on my channel. There's a playlist linked to in the description below. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.